Let's learn in this video how to create reusable workflows within GitHub Actions. Our objective today is to avoid duplicating the code or the steps and the jobs across different workflows. So the same way we can perform code refactoring in software engineering, we can also perform pipeline refactoring in workflows. So a workflow could be created and reused in multiple workflows. The advantage here is that reusing these workflows will avoid duplication and these workflows will be easier to maintain and developing new workflows will be faster if we are reusing these existing ones. Also, it will help creating a central libraries for workflows where we can apply the best practices. However, those reusable workflows, they have some limitations. First of all, it can connect up to four levels of workflow, but not more. And then it, those reusable workflows will be stored within a private repository, could be only accessible from other workflows within the same repository. And we have some limitations around the environment variables set in the environment uh, context defined at the workflow level. Let's go now take a look to a demonstration for how to use workflows within GitHub Actions. So I'll switch here to my VS Code where here I have two pipelines. First pipeline is the one that will go to, to call the reusable workflow, which is the second pipeline. So each pipeline will live inside its own YAML file. So that way we can reuse it or we can put it into a central library. So let's take a look to this call it workflow. So first of all here it will define the trigger which is on and here we use the keyword workflow call. This is very important right here where we can specify that this workflow will be could or could be called from another workflow. When it will be called from another workflow it should that a caller workflow should specify some inputs. First of all is the username, which is a required attribute of type string, and then should specify a secret with name token, which is also a required attribute. When it's called, this reusable workflow will go to run the different or those following jobs or uh, steps. So in this example, it's only one job with one step, which will run on an Ubuntu latest machine. And then the steps will go to run here, a hello world script that will go just to write hello, uh, hello then the name that was passed to this um, reusable workflow. Let's now take a look to a caller workflow. So anyone who wants to call this workflow, it should perform the following steps. So first of all, when we are in the color workflow, we are defining the jobs. So from here, we can call that reusable job through this syntax. So we give a name to our job, that's what we do. And then we use the keyword uses. And here we, uh, we mention the path to the colored YAML file within the main repository. So what we have here is my GitHub repository, the name of the repo, then the workflows within the .github folder, and then the YAML file for that folder, and then the branch name or the tag. And because here we need to pass some inputs, so we specify that input with those uh, with with the with <laughs> keyword. So we specify the username and the secrets, which is gonna be a token. So not here for the secret, I'm passing a secret environment variable right here from my workflow, which is called dot .token. So here we are making two calls to the same workflow. So note that how here we can avoid duplicating those uh, or this uh, workflow against these two uh, jobs. So in the second job, I call it here call workflow B. I use the same syntax almost okay just to demo that we can reuse the same uh, workflow without duplicating its code and here i'm using uh, different uh, variables or different values for the username let's see how this works so now if i switch to my github repository to this repo right here where i have some samples for github workflows i'll take these two ones the number 80 for reusable workflow color and call it so if we take a look at the color right here, the YAML file, we can find the one that I have uh, explained in the GitHub repository. But then if I go to the actions, 
from here I will see the two workflows and they can go to the color workflow I can see the history right here and then I can trigger a new workflow let's do that so I go to run workflow by clicking run workflow let's give it a second and now we see it here started running so if I click on that workflow we can view here the two jobs will start running in parallel and here we can view both of them so if I click on the first job which will run the hello world script if I expand that then I will see the hello world with the variable that was passed to that call it workflow which is Usem so that one is showing hello Usem and the second one will be showing another value which is hello delight so note that the, uh, how these uh, reusable workflow works is almost the same way the uh, actions or the GitHub actions work. So we specify the repo and then the name of the branch and then we specify the variables that should be passed there. And in this example, we have explored how to pass variables or uh, input from the color to the colored uh, workflow, but we can also do the opposite. So from the colored workflow, we can pass variables or output into the color workflow.